Well, hey guys, I'm Nick and welcome back to the channel. Well, it's a little bit over a month until Star Trek Picard Season 3, the final season, hits our TV screens. And this week, the poster came out to promote the new season of the show. It's a cool poster. It's probably one of my favourite posters that Picard's come out with uh, in its uh, in its three season um, existence. Bit of a retro vibe, bit of a retro feel. We're going to have a bit of a look in close detail at this poster. See what we can learn about um, certain characters. There is a few little bit details in this poster that we haven't seen before that might give us a little bit of a hint as to what we're going to expect in the new season. So we're going to have to take a look through that and see what glimpses this new poster can offer us about the new season of Picard. Okay, so at first glance, it has a very retro kind of vibe. It's, it's probably in keeping with a lot of movie posters from the 80s where they had movie posters that were illustrated by uh, amazing artists, you know, like Drew Struzan and so forth. And the poster kind of has this same sort of illustrated style that so many movies kind of had with a montage of characters and everything that gives it that bit of the, that retro feel for the new season, which is great because I think obviously we're going back to the original cast of seeing them for the final time uh, in this in this last season of Picard. So I guess giving a bit of a, 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 a retro feel or a, a reminiscent feel of the, the era in which Next Generation was set, that period between 87 and sort of 94. I think this poster does a good job at evoking that period. Now going through the poster uh, a bit at a time, obviously on the right hand side of frame, we've got our USS Titan A, which is the hero ship for the third season of Picard, being pursued by uh, uh, what appears to be Vatic's ship. Vatic's ship we know is called the Shrike. Vatic, uh, played by Amanda Plummer, is going to be the uh, the antagonist uh, of the season. Uh, and this obviously poster showcasing uh, the Titan A being pursued by a very aggressive looking um, ship here under the uh, the command of Vatic. Now let's go through some of our characters in the poster. Everybody's looking very airbrushed in, the, <laughs> in this poster, I gotta say. Uh, obviously, when you think about it, all of our characters uh, in this season of Picard, um, the youngest would be, I guess, you know, Jerry Ryan, in, who's in her early 50s. But all of our cast members for season three are all primarily in, in their late 60s or, uh, or, or, or 70s. Obviously, Brent Spiner, Michael Dorn, Jonathan Frakes, they're all 68 plus. Obviously, Picard being the oldest in his uh, in his early uh, 80s, there's a significant amount of airbrushing going on here just to just to kind of make our um, our somewhat seasoned cast seem, you know, maybe maybe 10 or 20 years younger um, than they are, which which is fine. I, I'm cool with that. Obviously, Picard looking very stern here in this photo here, looking somewhat worried, very stern, uh, looking even a little bit pot potentially um, hostile here in this uh, in this image. Beverly looking looking very beautiful here in this uh, interpretation of her. Keeping the grey, obviously Beverly, they haven't gone for the let's put a red, a red wig on her to make her look as uh, as uh, close to how she looked in um, uh, Next Generation that we remember her. She's going with her original hair colour, a bit of grey, that's that's cool, rocking it all natural, which is, uh, which is good for her. Riker, I, as I said, Riker looking good. Jonathan Frakes obviously shed a few uh, Shed a few pounds for the the uh, the role of uh, of Riker here. Obviously, he just wanted to get in a little bit of, bit of shape because uh, he's going to be appearing a little bit more in this season compared with his appearance in the first season of Picard, where him and Marina Sirtis only jumped into the show for a couple of episodes. And uh, and Marina Sirtis obviously looking good here too. Uh, then we move up to Geordie rocking the beard here, a bit of a grey beard there going on with uh, with Geordie. Uh, in this shot here, and it looks like there's a lot of leather in the costumes for this season. Obviously, Geordie's outfit there, leather, Worf's leather, you know, Bryke has got the rock and the leather, looks like Picard's rock and the leather, Deanna's got a leather costume on there, and Michelle Hurd and uh, Brent Spiner also uh, with a bit of leather gear on here as well, it would seem. Obviously, our costume designer for this season loved the use of leather in their, uh, in their you know, costumes. They're obviously still with Starfleet, but we're, you know, probably going more towards that captain's jacket kind of vibe, much like I guess Picard had in season five of, of Next Generation. And we get to see Worf's uh, weapon here in a bit more detail than we previously have. And I've got to say, I'm loving this weapon, the uh, the Kerleth, 
the new Klingon weapon that's been designed by Dan Curry, the uh, the props designer from Next Generation. It's sort of like a cross between a mech lath and a bat lath because it's got the curved blade a bit like a bat lath, but it's also got the hand grip and and hand guard much like the mech lath had. So I love the fact that they've kind of combined aspects of both the mech lath and bat lath to create this brand new weapon the Kurleth for, for Worf in this season. Now the most interesting thing that I've picked up from this poster uh, is we know that Brent Spiner is returning in the capacity of playing the uh, the evil character of Law in this season. However, what seems slightly um, contradictory in this poster and is probably one of the most interesting things I've gleaned from looking at this poster is that it would appear that his costume is a Starfleet uniform. He's kind of wearing the same outfit as Riker are kind of wearing where it's got the, the leather front, it's got the, the shoulders with the, um, the division colour on it. So it seems like even though Brent Spiner is playing the role of Law, not Data. He's still wearing an outfit that signifies some form of allegiance to Starfleet, which kind of strikes me as really odd because obviously Law has always been an antagonist. He's never been a protagonist of any kind and he's never really worn a Starfleet uniform. So it seems really interesting to me that if we have Law being played by Brent Spiner in this season and he's also wearing a costume that some, in some way illustrates an allegiance to Starfleet, how is that possible? Because you would think, you know, it's not like Law's gone off and, you know, um, been reactivated and gone off to join uh, Starfleet. That, that, that can't be the case. He is wearing a sort of a Starfleet-esque kind of costume in this show, which seems like a very interesting course of events. Because if we look at the collar and the shouldering and everything on, on Brent Spiner's costume, it doesn't look all that different to what, say, Riker or Geordie's wearing in this poster. So, yeah, what the hell is, is, is Lord turned back on again and, I don't know, they've somehow reprogrammed him to be not an evil mastermind and he somehow, I don't know, is getting around in Starfleet-inspired clothing that's that's really uh, an interesting turn of events and um i'd be very interested to know how that actually is the case so all in all loving look at this poster love the retro uh, kind of vibe about it gives it a, a, a feel that this is in fact the final season uh, star trek picard season three the final season obviously streaming on february 16 can't wait for that to occur guys look if you haven't subscribed to cyphernetics yet please go ahead click on that big subscribe button Staying up to date and current with all those Star Trek news is what I try to do. <laughs> and uh, it's good to have you along for the ride. Guys, as always, if you're able to, um, leave a like and a comment about uh, this video. See, let me know what your thoughts are about the poster and any uh, thoughts you might have about the upcoming season, final season of Star Trek Picard. Leave a super thanks if you're able to. It really helps the channel out. Or check out my merch in the merch store. We can pick up cool Star Trek themed t-shirts and hoodies and mugs and caps and everything uh, for great bargain prices. Uh, always a sale going on, so be sure to check that out. Uh, in the description as well. I'll catch you guys soon for my next video. See you then.